So what do you review when you have nowhere to go and nothing to do? Office snacks. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to O-Town Review. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the humble office snack. Why? Why would you review something as mundane as the office snack? Well, let me tell you, it's because the whole entire world is in lockdown, more or less. So we're gonna review a few office snacks. So the office snacks we're going to be reviewing today is the Cheez-It Snapped version. A Christmas Twinkie. Yes, I said Christmas Twinkie. We still have them here. We're going to be reviewing a Little Debbie coffee cake. And we're going to be reviewing Goldfish Flavor Blasted plus three different types of K-Cups. This is going to be the most exciting version of O-Town Review you have ever seen. Five episodes in. We're blowing your mind. All right, first on the list is Cheese is Snapped. And this is a cheddar, sour cream, and onion flavor. Let's give it an open. Not your typical cheese it obviously. This is like cheese it's light. But they got all kinds of funky flavors. And uh, looks really crispy. I'm a fan of the cheese it Grew up on them. What kid didn't like a cheese it growing up? Let's give this one a try. Salty, sour creamy, cheddary, oniony. What's not to love? I love it. I mean, I can eat like five of these and I'll be good to go. Of course, I won't eat five of these because it's probably not healthy if you're jonesing for a little salty, savory, cheesy goodness, but something with a little twist to it. Not your typical cheese it Cheese it snap. I like it. Goldfish flavor blasted. Extra cheddar. The humble, classic, goldfish that we all know and love, yet this one packs some extra flavor. Hmm, classic goldfish flavor with an added punch. It's more salty, it's got more cheddar. I mean, it's called flavor blasted for a reason, folks. They really did blast this thing with some uh, extra cheddar flavor, and it's good, I like it. Whatever these snack companies do, they really know how to hone in on a, on a flavor. It's almost, it's almost addictive. Here's the uh, Twinkie Christmas edition. Now, instead of the standard filling, you have a mint creamy filling. It's even got like a, like a mint color to it, greenish color. The classic Twinkie with a Christmas twist. Chocolate mint, cheers. I like the chocolate. The mint's very artificial. It's got, it kind of hits you. It's almost like eating a little bit of chocolate cake with some spray cleaner thrown in. Mm. No, I can see why these have been sitting there for a while. A uh, hostess, a little advice. Maybe uh, knock it off with the um, Christmas Twinkies. They ain't working. We have the Hostess Coffee Cake Cinnamon Streusel. I'm sure this goes well with coffee, and it's named Coffee Cake. We're gonna try some coffee next, but let's try the cake first. Hmm. It's like a spongy bear claw. This would go well with coffee, I, I'd have to admit. And I, you know, I'll save this because we're getting ready to try some coffee next, so just one more bite. It's got like a, a coating of cinnamon around the outside. You can, you can feel it when you put it in your mouth. But it's very grainy. Hence the name Cinnamon Streusel. Makes sense. There's the inside of it. I like it. Let's try it with some coffee. First K-Cup is gonna be Cafe Bustello. Espresso style. Coffee tasting number one. With a little coffee cake. Ooh, that is bitter. Let's, 
let's uh, chase it with some coffee cake. Mmm, much better. I recommend cutting that with a lot of cream and sugar because boyo is that bitter. I don't know if you're a fan of dark coffee, but if you are, that might be your jam. Otherwise, I'd say avoid it. Next up in our coffee tasting, we're gonna try the Dunkin' Donuts Original Blend. Here's one for you. Are you a Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks person? All right, taste test number two. We've got our Dunkin' Donuts Original Blend. Let's give it a shot. More of a pleasant, soothing, traditional coffee flavor that most of you are probably fond of and used to. Let's try with a little piece of coffee cake. Now I have to admit, the coffee cake goes much better with the dark flavored coffee. They seem to enhance each other somehow. This doesn't do that as much, but the coffee, you know, I think it's like a light blend, maybe a medium blend. It's definitely a flavor that is going to appeal to more people. Obviously, everyone's had Dunkin' Donuts. That's why we have it here at the office, because lots of people like it. And last but not least on our list, we're going to try the Starbucks French Roast. Another dark roast, hopefully not as bitter as the Bustello. We shall see. It's got that punch, it's got that dark roast, French roast punch, but it's not Cafe Bustello, which basically punches you right across the face like Mike Tyson in coffee form. Mm. It's Starbucks, it's strong. It's French roast, but it's not Cafe Pastello. Now that's strong. I'm not the biggest fan of dark roast, but I could drink that. Put a little cream, a little sugar in it. It's good to go. We all know Starbucks. We all know Dunkin' Donuts. We know what they taste like. That's why we have them here, because everybody likes them. I'd say my winner is gonna be the, the French roast from Starbucks. It was the most quality tasting coffee. And of the office snacks I chose, coffee cake was the winner. As you can see, it's all gone. There are only crumbs left. That's how much I liked it, because it went so well with my coffee. So there you go. Get yourself a Hostess coffee cake, get yourself a cake cup of Starbucks French roast and go to town and enjoy a little quarantine in lockdown nation. But seriously, folks, stay safe out there, stay healthy. Enjoy this time with your loved ones. And once again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video. Help us grow this channel and we will continue making more content for you. And next week, hopefully Felicia will be here and we can get back to reviewing things that aren't office snacks. We'll see. Take care, be safe, see you soon.